Marksman Daily presents Brand of the Year 2023-24 in association with India Today. Team Marksman hosted the Brand of the Year felicitation ceremony in Mumbai. Attendees were treated to various insights into what makes the company the Brand of the Year. Visionary leaders and industry tycoons came together for insightful discussions on what it takes to go from just a company to a brand. The event saw Team Marksman honor and felicitate those companies that have earned the moniker of Brand of the Year. We kick things off with a keynote address by Mr. K. V. Sridhar, Global Chief Creative Officer, Nihilint Limited, who spoke about creating a roadmap for building brands. I need to speak about we as human beings. When you talk about purpose, if we don't find a purpose in our own life, how can we find a purpose for a brand? Purpose is something which people discover in their life journey. Some people discover at the age of 16 like Tendulkar. Some people will discover at the age of 74 like Emma Hussain. Some brands discover at the early stage. Some brands discover at a later stage. But you can't force fit a, a purpose into somebody's head. You can't force fit a purpose into a brand's life. Brand commands respect commands emotional equity. That's the reason why you pay more for a brand, you know, which you love. As I've already said that brands are like human beings. Only if brands can realize their own potential or the human potentials uh, which brands has, then that the brand can be greater than any human being ever lived. Purpose needs to be relevant. It should come from within. If you're a purpose who have, the pur who have that uh, um, think in you and then you can defend it and you can say it, people will believe it. And then the brands do not have that purpose and then wanting to do um, a um, social uh, thing about, you know, uh, I'm the greenest company in the world and then put all your wastage, carbon wastage into the Black Sea. People will get to know you have no credibility and trust for that. So you first need to be that before you actually attract people you know, who are similar or like-minded. Thank you, that's what I have to say. Stories are complicated. I didn't want to make an encore of Adi Purush. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, brace yourself for the moment is here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the recognition ceremony of second edition of Brand of the Year 2023. And now for this, joining us on stage to felicitate these brands is a very special guest. Let's welcome on stage the very beautiful Mahima Chaudhary. <laughs> Okay, to join Mahima on stage, I'd like to invite our co-founder team Marksman Network, Mr. Sharad Gupta. <laughs> and here we go. Let's put your hands together for the brand of the year, Swiss Wellness. Digitalization and personalization are two of the biggest influences on the health and wellness market right now. From app subscriptions, virtual consultations and online resources hubs. Health and wellness solutions have never been more accessible. Digitalization enables business not only to advance their own research and development, but speak to their consumers across so many different platforms. When it comes to people's well-being, consumers are increasingly expecting products tailored to their specific needs. For h, h innovation is the key backbone and is at the forefront of our vision to become a global leader in premium nutrition and wellness through our superior products and aspiration brands. We provide science-based products with innovative formulations with sustainability at the forefront of our innovation strategy. One of the most exciting innovations in the vitamins category over the past few years 
is the new emerging gummies format. Swiss India offers a range of convenient on-the-go gummies made with natural ingredients with scientifically proven formulations such as Swiss Me, Melitin gummies, Kiss multivitamins and apple cider vinegar gummies. We are thrilled that Swiss India has been recognized as brand of the year. Swiss India business was launched in 2020 and since then it has gone from strength to strength following its e-commerce for strategy in India. We aim not only to complement the lifestyles of Indian consumers but to elevate them, particularly focusing on the younger generation. Our key difference come from our unique, premium, proven, aspirational and engaging marketing model which is integral to every aspect of our business. From developing premium quality products that are proven and backed by science to creating an aspirational brand and engaging with our customers through targeted marketing strategies. We use hand-picked ingredients from trusted suppliers across the world to ensure that our products deliver the best results. We pride ourselves on the development and manufacturing of scientifically validated products while playing a key role in supporting evidence-based health and wellness solutions. Now let's congratulate Live Pure. I think uh, at Lupure we believe in constantly monitoring the evolving needs of the consumers and we keep a very very close track of those and I think one of the foremost things which we at Lupure consistently do is to empathize with our consumers and consistently see that what best we can do in order to make his or her lives easier and through that you know we embark on several missions which is through our products and services to see whether it's an IoT device or it's a smart appliance or it's how to you know make the ease of usage of the product to him or her easier. I think we're consistently being evolving, and for the past two years, post the pandemic, we've done a lot of such things in order to make uh, technology uh, easier for the consumers to use our products and services. At Leopure, we believe innovation is the heart of everything, whatever we do. Uh, not only products, but in the kind of services which we render. You know, one of our key areas of uh, business is you know we we have a business called Water as a Service. So we almost add around, around 15,000 consumers across India where we give water as a subscription revenue. So they don't need to buy the product from us. They actually, we can go and rent it out to them and they have no chances, no worries about, you know, having an annual maintenance contract for them. So it's one of the most innovative areas where we are working and where we're trying to provide water to millions of Indians which otherwise could have been probably cost costly if they buy a product. We have done a lot of work on our sleep business which is the mattress business. We have virtually evolved it to make the life, the sleep, you know, health and wellness is one of our key areas of focus and through our products and services, whether it's our air treatment products, whether it's our water treatment products and even our sleep products which includes mattresses and other comforters, we, we always focus on making how we can make these products much more easily usable to our consumers. And I think smart, being smart and being a focused technology brand, I think uh, we have really come a long way, though we still believe there's much to be done in future. And the next band of the year, recognition goes to Cross Bikes. Thank you so much for your kind words. We at Cross Bikes are thrilled and honored to be recognized as Brand of the Year 2023. We would like to express our deepest gratitude to our customers, partners, our dealers, and our entire Cross team for their support and trust in our brand. It is our enthusiasm and feedback that constantly inspires us to push boundaries and raise the bar higher year on year. We at Cross Bikes are focused on two aspects. One is the comfort and one is the reliability of the bicycles. Our brand is over a decade old, little over a decade old. At Cross Bikes, we have identified several exciting opportunities that are determined to capitalize on. We are actively collaborating with influential cyclists, target uh, enthusiasts, and influencers to showcase our versatility and quality of our bicycles. By leveraging their reach and credibility, we are able to reach a wider audience 
and create a stronger brand as part of uh, our group we are integrated eco friendly practices throughout our manufacturing processes we do not uh, waste any water within our organization everything is recycled we are working to reduce plastic we are working on uh, more environmental friendly technologies and energy efficient uh, production techniques this commitment of sustainability not only aligns with our values of our customers but also positions us as a responsible and a forward looking brand thank you the next brand of the year recognition goes to fenesta building system Fenestra has been the pioneer in UPVC windows and uh, doors category and in the last two decades uh, the brand has forayed into aluminium windows and doors as well as solid panel doors as i reflect on the brand's 20 year journey there are a few key strategic factors which have propelled the brand to its leadership position in the windows and doors category and uh, i can safely say that you know these are the strategic um, uh, points which applies to any brand which wants to uh, be successful and top in the industry number 1 is uh, differentiation differentiation is crucial to any brand and uh, it it has to be authentic differentiation secondly agility and customer centricity at fenesta we ensure that uh, we are uh, flexible uh, towards the market trends and we ensure that uh, our products and service offerings are uh, adapted to the needs of the customers and their preferences and uh, we also strive to provide exceptional customer experience now let's congratulate bhutani infra There are a lot of challenges that a real estate developer faces. One of the prima facie challenge is that how to keep their customers, how to keep their clients happy with one project. Everybody coming in has different tastes, different expectations, different standards. But the key to all of that is how to make one thing that can satisfy most of them if not all. that is why we try and bring in innovation and our quality standards their amalgamation is what is the key that we have found to satisfy most of our clients if not all as we come to the close of the brand of the year 2023 24 felicitation ceremony it's time to dive into the world of finance introducing india's thriving bfsi sector amidst market and customer demands businesses adapt and excel However, it's no easy feat. Yet, some brands have emerged as the most trusted BFSI brands of 2023, embracing change and data protection. In the second edition, Team Marksman celebrated their remarkable achievements in a felicitation ceremony in Mumbai. Join Marksman Daily in acknowledging these trailblazers who secured their place as leaders in the ever-evolving BFSI landscape. Let's give it up for Muthoot Home Film India Limited. Muthoot Home Film is part of the Muthoot Group. Uh, we, as a group, are 800 years old, and we have a legacy created by trust. So, trust and ethics are something which. Um, most important to us we build it by doing two simple things focusing on credibility and integrity by credibility i mean we try and communicate what we can do and we do what we commit so when we do that over and over again it helps us build trust with the customer integrity is simply doing the right thing whatever is right for the customer is right for us 
we try and provide solutions which will help the customer fulfill his dreams. If we have to go step two steps ahead in doing that, we make an effort and do so. So two simple things, just deliver what you commit and try to do what is best for the customer. Now let us all together congratulate Lestaki Advisors Private Limited. Trust is a very big thing in the Lastaki ethos, and so we're very excited to be part of this list. Uh, you see, we actually focus on first-generation entrepreneurs and work with small and mid-sized companies that are led by first-generation entrepreneurs largely. And this is a segment where entrepreneurs often have 80 to 90% of their wealth still invested in the company. So to actually work with that asset of the entrepreneur is something that is extremely uh, onerous. And uh, it's very important for us that we are trusted uh, by our customers. And that's the ethos with which we've built this brand. So if I think about how we do it and how we continue to do it, uh, one is to keep the solution that the client needs at the center of the conversation at all times, right? The second is that on our part, we continue to build our domain skill sets in the industries. And with that, we come to the end of the most trusted BFSI brands. Moving on from the world of finance, Marksman Daily, in association with India Today, recognizes and gives a nod the incredibly important field of supply chain and logistics. Let's begin by inviting Sarala Menon, Executive Vice President, End-to-End -end Supply Chain, Colgate Palmolive India Limited. Across the supply chain, I think innovation is going to be the way that you will distinguish good supply chains from the not so good. And innovations are really about the manufacturing 4.0, uh, automation, digital analytics. There's so much happening that I think it's just our limitation to be able to really harness all the things that are happening. We have done a lot in terms of innovations, you know, whether they are about automation, robotic, cobots, frugal innovations, because like I was sharing in my session, you know, sometimes when you're looking at cobots, there are some, maybe, you know, you have an issue and it's not a direct answer. And our team has come up with something very, very innovative in terms of how do you address challenge by, challenges by actually using these innovations. And I was also mentioning that in Colgate, some of the stuff that we have done, they are actually looking to us in India as a center of excellence for cobots. And this is very important because it not just builds capability in the Colgate ecosystem, but also when we are working with local vendors, it helps. Uh, you know, their capabilities go up. And I think in India, generally, we are very cost conscious. So there is a lot of opportunity. And like I said, I don't think we should be limiting ourselves to what we can do in India. But how do we use that to really export? So to me, innovation is the way to go. Up next, we would like to invite Ankur Bhagat, Executive Sponsor, LGBTQ Plus Inclusion and Vice President and Chief Supply Chain Officer, PNG India. Challenge that the supply chain is facing is we, what we call as a fast network, uh, you know, and let me elaborate. F is all around the fast changing, evolving shopper and consumer, uh, the pace at which online, offline and a mix of these are coming. You know, supply chain has to be geared up to ensure that the availability of the product is there at all points of time, irrespective of where the shopper chooses to shop. At the same time, Events of last few years have taught us that agility and resilience, and this is in context of COVID as a pandemic, but equally important other challenges that we see, whether it's linked to weather uncertainty or climate change, or you know the uh, the recent challenges that we saw on ocean freight and so on. You know it's here to stay. So agility and responsiveness is the second challenge that we see. The third challenge or trend that we are seeing is around sustainability. Uh, you know, again, it is something which is part and parcel of uh, what we need to do and how we need to run business. And lastly is how do we leverage technology, you know, much better. So those are the challenges or the trends that we need to leverage 
uh, you know, for future. Uh, for us uh, at Procter, the way we are addressing it is through what we call as Supply 3.0, uh, which has four key vectors, uh, ensuring resilience to supply in full, uh, having seamless data interconnection end-to-end uh, -end, all the way from our suppliers to the customers, uh, sustainability as the third, work, uh, third vector, and superior workforce as the fourth. And with that, we come to the end of the supply chain and logistics conclave. Marksman Daily recognized and felicitated the movers and shakers of the world of supply chain and logistics, each at the very top of their game. This has been a presentation by Team Marksman in association with India Today. This event was conceptualized and brought to you by Team Marksman. Here's a snapshot of its marquee events lined up for the coming months. The Mumbai edition of the CX Transformation Conclave 2023. Bringing together senior CX leaders, Team Marksman Network's inaugural edition of the CX Transformation Conclave will pinpoint compelling solutions and drivers for generating sustained value for businesses. The Cloud and Security Conclave 2023 Bangalore edition. With cloud computing continuing to revolutionize the way businesses operate, the inaugural edition of the Team Marksman Cloud and Security Conclave 2023 will witness senior technology leaders deliberate on accelerators for cloud adoption and factors impacting security. Most innovative companies of India 2023-24. From pioneering conglomerates to disruptive startups, Marksman Daily's inaugural edition of the Most Innovative Companies of India 2023-24 will highlight organizations that have been pushing boundaries and redefining industries. Influential leaders of India 2023-24. The performance of great organizations cannot be seen in isolation from that of great leaders. And the third edition of the Influential Leaders of India celebrates those that shatter norms and redefine the nature of leadership. For more details on these upcoming initiatives, contact Team Marksman at contact at the rate teammarksman.com. <laughs>